हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू गुनानाथ एकेडमी इन काइनेटिक थ्री ऑफ गैसेस एंड रेडिएशन स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन ए बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन दे आस्किंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ काइनेटिक थ्री ऑफ गैसेज डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाई द गैस नाउ दिस इज द क्यूब स्टूडेंट्स इन साइड दर इज द गैस प्रेजेंट नाउ हाउ मच प्रेशर दिस गैस इज एक्सर्टिंग ऑन ऑल द साइड ऑफ द क्यूब दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट that is the on the basis of kinetic theory students we are going to derive the expression for pressure exerted by the gas now the gas molecule is enclosed inside the cubical container this is the cubical container students so this way you have to write in examination students consider a gas enclosed in a cubical container of side l see students because it is a cube cube has all the sides are what equal so we have taken here l as the length of the side of the cube understanding students now we have because it is a three dimensional figure so it has got x axis y axis and z axis understanding students this we have kept a cube in the in this way so this way you have to draw the diagram students now it has got how many now we are taking only pressure exerted on x axis only students now here you have to consider a molecules moving with velocity v bar along x component and it is colliding with yz plane this is the sided part is called as yz plane now we have taken a molecules we are going to consider a molecule moving with velocity the velocity of molecule is what v bar and it is moving along the x axis and it is colliding with this wall that is y z plane understanding students now students delta px is the momentum understanding students if any body is if any particle is moving that means it, it should has got what some momentum so this particle has there is a change in the momentum delta px is along the x axis so delta px is the change in momentum delta px students how you are going to calculate the final momentum minus initial momentum understanding students so now we are going to find out the momentum along the x axis understanding students now what happens students delta px is nothing but minus m u x this is the final momentum students minus initial momentum mass into velocity understanding students because we are going the particles are moving along x axis students that is why we have taken velocity along x axis here also velocity along x axis now students because both it is what negative understanding students so negative negative it will becomes minus 2 mass into velocity along x axis so change in momentum students is equals to minus 2 mass into velocity along the x axis understanding students the because we are change in momentum we are taking positive we are always taking positive so that is mostly equals to we are we have to take 2 mass into vx understanding students so delta px change in momentum along x axis equals to twice of mass into velocity twice of what mass into velocity change in momentum along x axis equals to twice of mass of the molecules into velocity of the molecule along x axis so this is the change in momentum students change in momentum of a molecule is equals to twice of mass of the molecule and the velocity of molecule along x axis the molecule travel a distance of 2l understanding students when it is changing the momentum students the molecule is also traveling a distance of 2l it is colliding at its coming back that is length is equals to 2l in between two collision understanding students the molecule will collide with the wall and it is come back that means it is total distance how much it is converting 2l now students when you are find out the time taken by the particle students that is distance divided by velocity understanding students distance the, here i have taken one we are considering only one molecule which is moving and it is colliding it is coming back so how much time it has taken the delta change in the time equals to distance upon velocity the distance how much distance the first molecule will cover students it will cover twice of length divided by v of x understanding distance upon you know distance divided by velocity understanding students so now the molecule first students it will exert a force understanding students because it is colliding so what happens students molecule one exert force f capital f i have taken students the force of the first molecule equals to that is the rate of change of momentum with respect to time there is a, you have already got the change in momentum that is twice of m vx now we also got the change in time students the delta t so here students force is equals to nothing but in terms of momentum students rate of change of momentum is nothing but force exerted by the first molecule on the wall that is delta px of the first molecule divided by delta t understanding so it is called as what change in momentum with respect to delta t understanding is delta means what change so changes in momentum upon change in time 
so this is the force exerted by the first molecules on the wall now if you want to substitute the values f equals to 2 m yeah, mass into vx of the first particle upon 2l upon vx now what happens students here 2 will cancel understanding this vx1 will go on numerator students it will multiply and it will gives you v square x1 understanding now 2 2 will cancel here 2 will cancel what is the remaining students here mass of the molecule and velocity square understanding now here the velocity square along x axis of the first particle upon length understanding students this is the length so this is the force exerted by the first molecule on the wall of the surface along x axis understanding this of same way students now what happens students by considering the other molecules students second molecule third molecule fourth molecule and nth number of molecule with velocities vx2 vx3 vx4 and so on so what will be the students force total force exerted along x axis students that is m upon l that is vx1 first molecule plus vx up second molecules and so on understanding students this is the force total force exerted by all the molecules on along with the x axis on the wall understanding students now what is students now you because we are finding pressure so pressure students is nothing but force per unit area pressure is nothing but what force per unit area force upon area yes or no the force and we have already said it that area we have taken understanding now the force for formula you know this is upon area that is the a now what happens when you substitute this force upon area students you will get these values m into vx1 square plus vx2 vx square plus dash dash upon length will come in denominator with area understanding length into area so this is the pressure along the axis all the molecules will put the pressure along with this pressure they will put the exert the pressure on the wall now what happens students pressure so this is the pressure expression students along the x axis mass of the all the particles divide multiply by vx1 square plus vx2 square plus dash dash upon v because you students length into area is nothing but volume volume of the gas understanding students now what happens students here because we are students vl square v1 square plus vx square is nothing but students it is the how many number the, if there is n number of molecules we have to take the square mean of that understanding so mean square velocity along x axis will be vx square plus vx vx2 square plus vn square understand divided by number total number of molecule along the x axis understanding students now students what happens this will cross multiply you are getting v2 square x bar into n equals to vx square vx1 square plus vx2 square plus vn square understanding students from 1 and 2 students we instead of the, here we are going to put this value understanding so now students you can put here you can put the vx square into n now from 1 and 2 students 1 and 2 you will get pressure is nothing but mass into number of gas molecule along vx square velocity along vx square upon v that is the volume of the gas understanding students now because students here the uh, therefore along y axis along z axis students you are getting this is the mean square velocity understanding because we are taking here all are what because it is a cube so all the having all the other axis along y axis and z axis will be the same that means 1 upon 3 v bar v bar square understanding velocity square now what happens when now you need put the value pressure equals to 1 upon 3 m n v bar square upon volume volume of the gas this is the mass this is the number of atom molecules or atoms now this is the velocity square understanding so this is the pressure students this from with this pressure they will exert the pressure on all the side of the cube understanding students now what happens students since you know the pressure equals to 1 upon 3 n upon v mass into v bar square understanding now students you know when you put n into m n into m upon volume is nothing but number of molecules into mass of the molecule is nothing but molar mass divided by volume that is nothing but density mass divided by volume is nothing but density of the gas if you know the density of gas is the pressure you can calculate very easily so p is also equals to 1 upon 3 rho v bar square understanding students so here the new expression of pressure you have two type of expression in terms of density you will write pressure equals to 1 upon 3 rho v square rms that is root mean square velocity understanding students 
so one of pressure is nothing but one upon three rho v square rms and pressure expression is also so these two are the very important expression twins these are very very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you have a nice day